there a door over here? I didn't know. Oh, yeah, okay, let's... Going. Aha, that looks suspiciously like an upstairs. There you are. Your mother told me the town had summoned you, so I didn't want to interrupt. Um, okay, this is Sir Gilmore. Hello to you too. Pardon my manners, my lord. It's simply that I've been looking all over the castle for you. I fear your hound has the kitchens in uproar once again, and is threatening to leave. Did the dog get into the larder again? She was my nanny before she was the cook. Nan won't leave. Nan's blowing off steam. She's always been like that, so why look for me do something? Well, that's a good question. Your mother disagrees. She insists you collect the dog, and quickly. Okay, so now you know I have these a, a side hounds. quest. They listen only to their master. Anyone else risks having an arm bitten off. Wow. Okay, stupid dog, he never behaves. He knows better than to hurt anyone. I'm busy at the moment, then I guess I should go collect him. Yeah. That would be wise, before Nan tears down the walls. You're quite lucky to have your own Mabari warhound, you know. Smart enough not to talk, my father used to say. Of course, that means he's easily bored. Nan swears he confounds her just to amuse himself. At any rate, your mother would have me accompany you until the matter is settled, shall we? All right, I get a companion and some exposition. To the kitchen's then. I need to talk to my brother first. I don't need you to follow me around. Where's my mother exactly? Your mother was quite specific. Unless the castle is under attack, you get that dog before doing anything else. Her words, not mine. Uh, before we go, my lord, might I beg a question? I've heard from several people that a Grey Warden is here. Is that true? Uh, his name is Duncan. I've met him. You sound quite excited. Yes. Then, is it also true that this Grey Warden was asking after me? Maker's breath. Are you certain? Can you imagine me, a Grey Warden? It would be everything I've dreamed of. Of course, I shouldn't get ahead of myself. This guy irritates me outburst. somehow. I don't know why. I mean, he doesn't seem like a bad guy. It's just for some reason, I'm like... D dude, stop talking. A uh, new party member's joined. You can take control of this character directly by left-clicking on his or her portrait or body. Alternately, you can use the tactics menu to adjust how the AI controls them. Okay. Alright, I get it. Okay. Um. This doesn't look like the kitchens. This seriously doesn't look like the kitchens. Good evening, my lord. Thank you. Yes, good evening to you too, peasant. Not sure what your name is. And my dear Bryce bought this back from Orlais last year. The Marquis who gave it to him was drunk, I understand, and mistook Bryce for the king. Ah, here is my son, along with Sir Gilmore. Tell me, Sir Gilmore, has my pup collared that dog yet? Not just yet, your ladyship. Darling, do take care of that. That malodorous hound of yours is an excellent protector, but he drives Nan to distraction. Father sent me to talk to Fergus. I'm not asking you to travel to the moon. The kitchen is just around the corner. Sir Gilmore, see that it gets done. As your ladyship commands. Good. With any luck, I'll be able to feed my guests before the end of next week. Darling, you remember Lady Landra? I think we last met at your mother's spring salon. Uh, of course, it's good to see you. Weren't you drunk? I, if you say so, this will have to wait. Father sent me to find Fergus. Of course, it's You're good to see kind, you again. You're too kind, dear boy. Didn't I spend half the salon shamelessly flirting with you? Right in front of your family, too. You remember my son, Dyron. I believe you two sparred in the last tourney. And you beat me handily, as I recall. It's good to see you again, my lord. Um, you're being modest, you fought very well. Okay, uh, and you, why not? And this is my sure. lady-in-waiting, Iona. Do you say something, dear? It is a great honor, my lord. I have heard many wonderful things about you. 
Don't look now, Eleanor. But I believe the girl has a crush on your lad. Lady Landra! Hush, Landra. You'll turn the poor thing scarlet. Tell me on the fears. May I go now? You're aware that we're at war. Perhaps we should speak sometime. Um, may I go now? You can go to the kitchen and deal with your hound. I think perhaps I shall rest now, my dear. Dyron, I will see you okay, in a Okay, fine. Own I'm going to go to the kitchen we and get my mother off my ass. Um. Good evening, your lordship. Sir Gilmore. There doesn't appear to be much in the way of quest markers here. So I'm not exactly sure where I'm supposed to be going. Oh, okay, this is a dining room. That's a, uh, that's a step in the right direction. I don't hear, I don't see a door. One would think that the dining hall would have a door that leads to a kitchen. Good evening, my lord. Well, there's fire. Get that bloody mutt out of the larder. But, mistress, it won't let us near. If I can't get into that larder, I'll skin both of you useless elves. I swear it. Uh, calm down, good woman. We've come to help. You and you. Your bloody mongrel keeps getting into my larder. That beast should be put down. Sorry, he's bothering you. He's not a mongrel. He's a pureblood nabari. Perhaps you should lock your larder tighter. Maybe we should put you down. Um. If I locked it any tighter, we couldn't get in. Oh, dear. Mistress, calm down. Please. That's it. I'll quit. Inform the turner. I'll go and cook at some nice estate in the Banorn. And please, we'll get the dog. Calm down. Just get him gone. I've enough to worry about with a castle full of hungry soldiers. You two, stop standing there like idiots. Get out of the way. I really don't like how she addresses people. Uh, to equip new items, you'll need to open the inventory screen. Do so now by clicking on the highlighted icon or pressing I. Okay. Um... To unequip, drag an item from the icon on the left side of the screen back into your inventory. Rem remove your character, your character's armor and clothing now. Okay. To equip, drag items from your inventory directly onto your character or into the appropriate icon spaces. Replace your armor and clothing now. Alrighty. For easy, e easy access to consumable items, place them in your quick bar. Drag an item to your quick bar now. Uh, right. Okay, there. Um, although armor provides great protection, safety comes at a price. Anything heavier than regular clothing becomes fatigue, causes fatigue which increases the mana or stamina cost of spells and talents by a percentage. Sturdy armors, sturdy armors like plate carry more penalty than lightweight leathers, but some talents, uh, like the warrior's powerful, can reduce the effect of fatigue. Okay. All right. Okay, so I got equipment. Are we done? With Look at that mess. How did he even get in here? Okay, he's terrifying. Hey, bad boy, do you hear me? What a smart boy you are. Oh, yes, you are. Sit right there. I'm not putting up with this. Are you trying to tell me something, boy? Are you trying to tell me something? Yes, dog meat. Yes. It does seem like he's trying to tell you something. Wait. Did you hear that? Please enter dog meat. 
I'm sorry, I'm not a uh, I'm not a Fallout player for nothing, right? Okay, new Encada could accept it. Let's see. Frequently asked during the travels other than lands, explained until four courses, no more dogs in my homeland than they own. Okay. You're in a combat situation. Mastery of the battlefield is important. Zoom out, scroll backward in combat to gain a better view of the situation. You can also pause tactical preparation by pressing space. Okay, there's the zoom. We have rats. Okay. So what I want is I want Sir Goofus to attack the rat. I want dog meat to attack the rat. And I want me to attack the rat. Everybody go. Bad breath alert. Not bad. The dogs will dine on your corpses! Nice shot! Got one! They're just rats, guys. These giant rats? It's like you the know. start of every bad adventure tale my grandfather used to tell. Holy the shit! The hound must have chased them in <laughs> through their holes. Looks like he wasn't raiding the larder <sighs> after all. It certainly looks so. Those are very. Maybe it's just a coincidence, but so my hound put, it, put me in great danger. Um. It certainly looks Those that way. Those were rats from the Kokari Wilds. Best not to tell Nan. She's upset enough as it is. But seeing as you've got your Mabari well in hand, I'll be on my way. I'm to prepare for the arrival of more of the Isle's men. Okay. So, uh... Mabari are clever enough to speak, wise enough to know not to. Jack's Warhound has a pedigree older than high, high ever. And a penchant for driving cooks to distraction. Okay, that's that's good. That's there he is, as brazen as you please, licking his chops after helping himself to the roast, no doubt. Actually, he was defending your larder from rats. What? Big rats? rats? Not the large grey ones. They'll rip you to shreds. They will. See, now you've gone and scared the servants. I expect those filthy things are dead. Yes, the rats are dead. Spread a mess. Oh, I bet that dog led those rats into there to begin with. Oh, don't even start with the sad eyes. I'm immune to your so-called charms. Here then, take these pork bits and don't say that Nan never gives you anything. Bloody dog. Thank you, my lord. Now we can get to work. That's right, you two. Quit standing about. I really don't like how she talks to people. I'm I'm in a combat situation. Hell, man, I'm, I'm I'm in a combat situation. Thank you again for your help. Now, if you'll just hold on a moment, yes. Adney, get moving with those casts. And Kath, do you think you can serve that to the turn with dirt from the floor all over it? Miserable old bat. Old bat, am I? We've got to work double time on supper. Sweep out the hearths and no complaining. Just keeping order. That's why your father keeps me on. The good maker knows I needn't take care of you anymore. Thank you for coming to your old nanny's rescue. That blasted hound is more trouble than he's worth. He is. And don't start Are there with any me. We've got all your getting NPCs today. in this game. But what about you, my lord? Been keeping safe and well behaved, I hope. Uh, when it's convenient, that would be boring. Why would I say anything but yes? Of course. Good. I'm not exactly privy to your goings-on now that you're grown. Just an old nanny, never invited to your father's fancy meetings. Do you remember that bedtime tale I used to tell you? The dog that bit? Uh, I'll make her not this again. Not too well. No, I don't have time for stories. I remember. Good. Then you can start. A warhound was born to the elder bitch of a tribal chief. They named him Hahaku and gave him everything. He grew up a fine, strong pup, destined to be the partner of the chief's eldest son.
the young hound became arrogant, taking food from his kin and warning them, in the way of dogs, that the chief's family would punish them if they tried to attack him. Years passed, and the time for the chief's son to take a warhound came closer. Hahaku's pride swelled, and many of the people of the tribe came to the chief, quietly whispering of this dog's bullying. With each complaint, the chief saw only Hahaku's strength and pride, and sent his people away. But as his son grew, the chief watched more closely. The day might come when his boy's life would depend on this dog. If the humblest of his people would not trust Hahaku, how could he? So he made a weaker dog his son's partner. His misdeeds bit him. Strong or not, he chose a more reliable dog. I'm thirsty, I'll just go to drink. When okay. the day came, Hahaku sat proudly waiting to be called. But the old chief chose Hahaku's brother as his son's hound. Hahaku was shamed, but felt no remorse. So great was his rage that he darted across the fire pit and bit the chief's hand. He should have waited until the chief was alone, a bold move. That was a mistake. <laughs> the chief and his son struck at Hahaku, cursing him. The hound ran into the village, seeking shelter in the tents and kennels. The other dogs snapped at him, and the tribe's people threw stones at him. Before the chief could reach him, the tribe had torn Hahaku apart. Now... What should you carry from this tale? Um, don't abuse your power. How you treat the least is remembered by the greatest. The weak pull down the strong when they can. No one is above justice. Respect all equally. Old old nurses tell boring stories. Well, yeah. Um. Exactly. Hahaku took advantage of the position. Why do I suspect that anything I chose there to. would be our But you're far too old now for an old woman to be reminding you to watch how you behave. Hmm. Why did you tell me that story? You aren't comparing me to to my mum, Bari. Are you? Thank you for the story. I thought for it. Yes, I am. Why? Why did you tell me that it's story? It's a story worth repeating. That's all. Be off with you then. Tell your brother farewell before he rides off to war. Yeah. We will serve you while the Terran is away. We will serve you well while the Terran is gone. Now all I gotta figure out how to do is get to I gotta figure out where where Fergus is, my older brother Fergus. Where for out there, Fergus? And I'm off. Insufficient skill. Good evening, my lord. Required. Huh. Okay, I suspect this is not the direction to get to find to find Fergus. Hello, my dear boy. By chance, I am beginning to teach these young squires about your family's history. Uh, do we have to? History is boring. Believe me, brother, Boys, I'm beginning to get there with you. you are referring to the Kuslans, the very family in whose castle you live. Show some respect. It's all right, it is boring. It's still the same taskmaster. They could do some discipline. I see you haven't changed. Perhaps it would benefit you to join our lesson. I'm a bit old for lessons. I'm quite familiar with the subject. Certainly, I'd be happy. No, thank you. I must attend to an important task. Oh, does that mean we have to listen to you now? Silence. I will not have you two becoming smart-mouthed hooligans. But perhaps you should go. I doubt they need any more distraction. I'm just going to settle in here and apparently just talk to myself for all the good I'm doing. Don't myself all this one to you. Okay. Now. Oh, my lord, we were just, uh... 
Well, uh, well, the treasury's safe. I'm not even sure why the Tern stationed us here. Don't worry, men. I won't say anything. We appreciate that, my lord. Thank you. All right. Now, you know, go upstairs, talk to your brother. Great. Find me a staircase. Where's a staircase? Are there any staircases here? I don't see a staircase. You know, that's downstairs. The only thing upstairs were a bunch of locked doors. Map. Kitchen, pantry, chapel, guard post, library, atrium, study, your room, Fergus's room, aha ha, okay, uh, I need to go to the right then, and back up here, that's your, probably your mom. Yes, it is, so. Back up here, I see. Is there really going to be a war, Papa? Okay, here we Will go. Will you bring me back a sword? That sword, Oren. And I'll get you the mightiest one I can find, I promise. I'll be back before you know it. I wish victory was indeed so certain. My heart is disquiet. Don't frighten the boy, love. I speak the truth. And here's my little brother to see me off. Now dry your eyes, love, and wish me well. As you went outside, just let me know when you two are finished. No darkspawn could harm F Fergus. You two are nauseating me. Should I wait outside? Um... Stay. I'd like to say farewell. I bring a message. Father wanted you to leave without him. I wish I could go with you. You'll be missed. Did you know there's a Grey Warden in the castle? Do you really think war will be over? Then the Isle's men are delayed. You'd think his men were all walking backwards. Well, I'd better get underway. So many darks born to be ahead. So little time. Off we go then. I'll see you soon, my love. I would hope, dear boy, that you plan to wait for us before taking your leave. Be well, my son. I will pray for your safety every day you are gone. Good shield would be more useful. You could have delivered your message yourself. Fergus will be fine. He might just need those prayers. Fergus will be fine. I keep telling you, no Which, of course, means that he's going to die. The make us sustain and preserve us all. He's going to die. Dad's going to die. Sons, Everybody in the castle is going to die. Death everywhere. Death, 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 death. And death. bring us some ale and wenches while you're at it. Uh, for the men, of course. Fergus, you would say this in front of your mother? What's a wench? Is that what you pull on to get the bucket out of the well? A wench is a woman that pours the ale in a tavern, Oren. Or a woman who drinks a lot of ale. Bryce, maker's breath. I swear it's like living with a pack of small boys. I'll miss you, mother dear. You'll take care of her brother, won't you? You can count on me. You'll be uh, need protecting more. Mother can handle herself as always. You can count on me. Oh, good. How thrilling to know I'm so well taken care of. <laughs> enough. <laughs> enough. Pup, you'll want to get an early night. You've much to do tomorrow. Okay, saving game. New sp quest completed. Quest completed. Father's task, Mr. All right. Got those all done. Codex updated. Dark spawn. Right. So, um, pause the game to issue orders to your party. You can queue up one action for each member of your party. Those actions will execute when the game resumes. I'm hoping I'm I'm not about to hit a, a cutscene here because, um, according to the timer, we're almost out of time. 
and uh, I'm going to take a quick break. Ah, yes, I am getting a cutscene. Okay. Well, let's watch the cutscene, and then we'll and then it'll be time to uh, close out this session. Whoop! Am I naked? Ah, I'm almost naked. What's wrong, boy? Someone out there just hadn't got enough of you today. Are you hearing rats again? Go after them, mode. My lord! Help me! The castle is under attack! <laughs> Okay, and with that, we're going to call it a session. Um, thank you for joining me on this, my, my, first, uh, my first bit of play for Dragon Age Origins. Uh, join me again next Wednesday for more Origins. Um, I actually had fun for all that it was very talky, 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 talky. Uh, we didn't do a lot this one, you know, we basically ran around the castle doing some fetch quests and character construction, but that's alright, I, I had a pretty good time with it. Obviously the story starts now. So, uh, I really hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for stopping by. Uh, if you did enjoy it, please give the video a like. If you haven't subscribed already, by all means subscribe. Um, I'm going to be playing Dragon Age Origins every Wednesday and I'll probably be playing the other two uh, Dragon Age games eventually also um, you know let me know what you think in the comments below in the meantime be safe out there guys and be kind I say it all the time kindness can change everything bye bye <laughs>